You know what's so beautiful about the story of, with the woman who was caught in the act of adultery? See, one of the things that people don't realize and understand and know that your that the woman or the male their act of exposure was to be humiliated humiliated now what do i mean in saying this meaning this when they brought her to jesus they brought her naked the humili the humiliation because she was going to be stoned if they would have got their if they would have got their way, they would have stoned her, humiliated her, and killed her. And they make a mockery of her because she was caught in the act of adultery. So therefore, they brought her out into, the Bible says, the temple. Now watch this. Uh, here we, watch it. Oh, well, wait, let's wait to go there. So when they brought her out, they didn't bring her out covered. They brought her out for humiliation, exposure, naked. Walk with me. When Jesus goes to write on the ground, I want for you to think about something. They're in the temple. There is no sand or ground dirt in the temple square. What is laid out? Sapphire, stone. What were the Ten Commandments written, written upon? Sapphire, stone, tablets. What wrote the commandments? The finger of God. So when Jesus knelt down, the finger of God began to write. And one by one, they all dropped their stones and began to go their way. The only one that was there standing present was the one who was the finger of God, who wrote the commandments before the very one that they, were trying, that they were trying to get to accuse this woman who was caught in the act. But even so, Jesus said unto her, Where are your accusers? Neither do I accuse you. Now go. When love says go, you have to remember the Ruach, the voice who called things into existence in the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God said, and it was, was the very voice that spoke to the depth and the area of that wounded woman's soul that has never been touched in such a way to where she never left his side ever again. And because she was so moved and so touched by the voice, by the word, who spoke to the depth of her soul, he says, go and sin no more. She now was empowered for the truth that you know sets you free. She was looking at the truth, the person of Christ, his very, his very self in the package we're in the vessel of Christ Jesus, our Messiah, our Lord, and our God. So I say to you today, see, the law will always condemn you. But grace and love, the power of Christ, the voice will always say, go. Go. Listen to my voice. For my hand shall lead thee gracefully and in peace. Shall my spirit empower you and shall I lead you to the well to give you a drink? A drink of my goodness, my daughter, a drink of my goodness, my son, shall you taste and see how good he truly is. 
So you all be encouraged and blessed today. Because when Jesus says go, behind every word spoken is the empowerment to do. Behind every word spoken is the empowerment to do. You have to realize and understand that the whole reason she was caught in the act of or even doing those things is because no one ever came her way to speak into her life so deeply that would revive her heart, revive her soul, and give her, her and give her a purpose and a meaning of the value of who he created her to be. And once you see your value, once you understand your identity, you will never go to a defiling situation ever again because you will know how precious you truly are. So you all be blessed in Jesus' name. He loves you more than you ever know. Love says go. Now be free, be liberated because the power by the anointing of the Holy Ghost inside of me, the Spirit of God flowing to you sets and liberates you free. Be free because truth has come and truth is the person of Jesus Christ. And the word of the Spirit of God to you today is this. I love you, I love you, I love you. Now go and listen to my voice and be free in Jesus.